Now, if you ask a bunch of Brian Masters which fuel source they prefer cooking with, be it charcoal, briquettes, firewood or gas, you're gonna get a bunch of different answers. Is one better than the other? I thought it best to discuss the differences and see a few things such as how long does it take the fire to get ready? How long have we got usable heat? We're gonna light three bries, one with each fuel source being charcoal, briquettes and firewood, and we'll do it as a direct fire, meaning that the fire is directly below the meat. Let's go. So all three bries have been lit, they're coming along slowly. Basically charcoal is wood that has been burned without oxygen, which removes all the natural sap chemicals and moisture. Now charcoal is nothing more than a clump of carbon in varying block sizes and compared to briquettes it lights faster, burns hotter but it doesn't burn for as long. It leaves very little ash behind and is ideal for a quick everyday bry. Now briquettes on the other hand is made from sawdust and fine wood chips which are mixed with a binding agent and compressed into those regular shaped blocks. Now briquettes burns a bit cooler than charcoal however it burns for a lot longer which is ideal if you're doing a roast. We'll be doing that a bit later. Now firewood is the most primal method of cooking. We've been cooking on firewood for centuries. You get a hardwood, a softwood. Is it dry? Is it wet? There's a lot of variables. This is a hardwood, which means it takes time to get burning, but when you've got that red bed of coals, it's gonna last for quite a while. Now gas fries do also have their place and benefits. The main one in that it's instant heat. Ideal for when you get home from work, you want to bry, but you don't have time for the charcoal or briquettes to get ready. Gas bries are often fitted with extras such as thermometers and warming trays. They're easy to clean, they disassemble quickly, and the cooking surfaces can be put into a dishwasher. And don't forget, Builders also stocks gas, which you can do your gas refills and exchanges for your gas bry and other gas appliances. Personally, I find that gas does not give the meat the flavor that you would get off a charcoal or a wood fire. However, it's convenient. So it's been 20, 25 minutes. Our charcoal bra is nearly ready. It's got that lovely layer of gray ash. We're gonna flatten that shortly and get some meat on. The briquettes not far behind. Give those another 10, 15 minutes. The timber's still got quite a way to go. So we've got our meat on the charcoal and the briquettes fire. That's coming on nicely. The wood fire is still not ready to cook on. The coals are slowly starting to develop, but it's gonna take a bit longer. So five minutes, we've turned the steak. The voice is not quite ready yet. As I said, the briquette does burn a little bit cooler. The wood fire, nowhere near ready yet. That steak's done five minutes either side. Let's have a look and see how it's cooked. Absolutely perfect. There's a nice treat for the guys in the workshop. Perfectly done, nice and juicy. It did take a little bit longer than the steak. Briquettes are burning a bit cooler. The timber's still nowhere near ready. So there we can see that the charcoal and briquettes are better for a direct heat below the meat. They get ready a lot quicker. However, the wood is gonna give us a brilliant flavor on the meat when we get there. So our charcoal and briquettes bry took 20 to 30 minutes to get ready. We cooked the meat for 10, 15 minutes on the boss and there's still quite a bit of heat left there. We're not gonna bry on the wood fire. It's not quite ready yet, but we are gonna use that timber when we do our indirect fire. So while the guys in the workshop are enjoying lunch, I'm gonna get the three bries ready with an indirect fire. So the heat will be on the sides. I'm gonna put a roast chicken in the middle, put the lid on and see which of these three fuels manages to do the best roast chicken. So we're back, our chickens are prepped. The charcoal and briquettes fire, after about 20 minutes, are ready to put the meat on. And fortunately, we've got enough coals on the wood fire to do a roast chicken as well. So our three chickens are on. I'm guesstimating it's gonna take about 45 minutes. We'll check them halfway. So it's been about 20 minutes since we put the chickens on. Let's go and have a look and see how they're doing. Now that's looking good. Still got good heat. And still quite a bit of charcoal left. Briquettes, you can see that's a lot darker and there's uh, yeah, a lot of heat there. I'm gonna leave that guy. And the wood is starting to die slowly. I don't think that chicken's gonna cook, unfortunately. So it's been 45 minutes, all three chickens have been on. Let's start with the charcoal bry. Cut the drumstick off and see how it looks. It's cooked, just. So let's have a look at the briquettes fire. Oh, that's looking better. Okay, that's cooked and there's still quite a bit of heat left here. That can come off the fire. And now let's have a look at the chicken on the wood fire. No, that's not cooked. The wood fire simply didn't last long enough. Now, if you had a bry full of hot coals on the side, yes, you could keep topping it up, it would cook. But this chicken needs to go into the oven for a bit. There we go. Three separate chickens and three separate fuels that we've used to cook these on. You're probably sitting at home saying I've done it right or wrong, but for me personally, charcoal if I'm doing a normal bry. Gets nice and hot, doesn't last overly long, but it's enough time to get a steak or a piece of bourrevoise done. Briquettes can be used for either a normal bry or a roast, as we've seen here. And firewood, great for a bry, great flavor. However, it does take time to get those coals ready. 
There we are, folks. Now, before we go and have lunch in the workshop, Builders has a wide range of kettle briars, normal briars, as well as charcoal briquettes and fire lighters. It's all available in store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.